Hello and welcome to this Dungeon Fog tutorial. In today's video, we're going to look at the new prop management system that has been implemented in the new Dungeon Fog update. We simply go to Props, notice the new UI layout. If you are unfamiliar with this layout, you can watch the tutorial on the new UI layout. If I select the prop, it now brings up a list of all of the packs that I have available to me. I am also presented with a search option where I can type in a specific keyword that I wish to look for, let us say tree, and it will now search for all the trees in all of the different asset packs that I have available to me, including the ones that I have purchased or that I have downloaded or that I have added myself. I can control this option with these buttons here, simply by activating or deactivating them. Furthermore, I can use this option to choose from specific packs, access premium, purchased, commercial, uploads and so on. I can either navigate through each of these categories by simply left clicking on them and it will bring up all of the props within that category, or alternatively I can hit the back chevron and have access to all of the packs again. I can type in a particular keyword such as tree and when I press enter it will now present me with all of the trees and all of the packs that I have selected to look through. Something to bear in mind is that within the prop selector I can always right click on any image to bring up this zoom option. What this does is it increases or decreases the number of columns of props that are presented to me so that I can make them nice and big if I really want to see what the props look like or right click and I can zoom out to see all the different props that I have access to. I can then apply it to my map. Something that is different in the new process is that if I were to select this prop, open up my prop options again, and remember Dungeon Fog remembers your last actions, and I were to select a different prop, it would automatically replace the existing selected prop with the new prop. This is a very valuable tool, and one that I'm sure we'll all be making use of. And let's put that tree back where we wanted it. There is another button which you may already have noticed by watching this video and that is here. This is the breakout option. By selecting this option you will create a breakout window that is separate from your dungeon fog window. It contains all of the props that you're currently looking for. You can reposition it, you can resize it, if you have multiple monitors you can put it onto a different monitor but now it gives you the function of having this open all the time and positioning it wherever you like. If I deselect tree and I go back to all of my packs, let's say I go with candles. These are all the different types of candles that are within the Dungeon Fog asset packs. I can now select a particular candle. Notice that I had my previous prop selected so it's changed it to a candle. This may not be what I want. So I can simply go Control Z and undo that. That's not the only function however. I'm going to Control Z and undo those candle placements. Instead, I would like to place multiple different varieties of candles at the same time. So now all that I do is I hold the Control button down and let me move this over here so you can see what's happening. Look at this space here. Currently it lists candle wax and then I hold Control and I can select other candles to add to the list. Notice it is now adding them as six selected. I can select as many as I like. Alternatively, I can simply left click on one of the props to go back to using just one prop, or I can select the prop, hold down the shift key and select the entire range. This now adds nine candles to the mix. What now happens is quite simple. When I move this window out the way, as I left click, Dungeon Fog will automatically cycle through all of the different props that I currently have in my selected box. It will randomly work through them. Furthermore, if I add on randomize and I randomize the rotation and I randomize the scale, not only will it be placing down all of the different types of props, but it will be randomly rotating them for me as well, creating a truly dynamic option. I can create a lot of candles. And that is the new prop management system from Dungeon Fog.